Hi everyone and welcome to Free Eye Regenerate podcast. This week we're gonna talk about the inner development goals. And at uh, Free Eye Sustainability, we definitely are aligned and support the inner development goals. So first of all, what are the inner development goals? It is an initiative. And it is a non-profit organization for inner development. When we say inner development, it's uh, like uh, personal development or self-development. And it is uh, a sum of research, collect, communicating science-based skills and quality that help us to live a purposeful, sustainable, and productive life. The Inner Development Goals Framework is fundamental in the work to reach the Sustainable Development Goals. So, the big why, it's uh, in 2015, the Sustainable Development Goals gave us a comprehensive uh, plan for a sustainable uh, world by 2030. I'm not going to uh, mention uh, the story of uh, when I uh, saw the first time uh, the Sustainable Development Goals. It was in uh, Brisbane, uh, Australia, and uh, an epiphany came up to me. Uh, if you want, if you want to uh, learn about this story, I invite you to uh, jump on Free Eye Regenerator uh, Tribe platform. There is a video about uh, that story. And it is the same uh, here. Uh, when I saw the Inner Development Goals framework for the first time, I, I said, oh, wow, perfect, great initiative. So keeping going on uh, the 17 uh, goals of the uh, United Nations. Those goals cover a wide range of issues that involve people with different needs, values, and convictions. There is a vision of what needs to happen, but progress along this vision has far been disappointing. And we not where we are, when where we think we should be. We like the inner capacity to deal with our increasingly complex environment and challenges. There, there is so much complexity in, uh, out there and challenges. Fortunately, modern research shows that the inner ability we know all need can be developed. So we definitely can uh, achieve those goals by uh, developing our inner self, ourself. This was the starting point for the Inner Development Goals Initiative. Before I, I go further on that, I would like to uh, share with you one uh, video that is uh, in the Inner Development Goal website, but I thought to uh, share with you as uh, it is uh, really relevant uh, to uh, help you get some uh, perspective on uh, these uh, inner development goals. The inner development goals show what inner shifts or human growth needs to happen in order for us to increase our chances of reaching the sustainable development goals collectively. The inner development goals covers 23 skills that are divided into five categories. Skills such as inner compass, openness and learning mindset, self-awareness, presence, sense-making, connectedness, humility, co-creation skills, trust and perseverance. What I see as the basic human challenge, when we talk about mind shift, when we talk about growth that matters, I think the basic human challenge is this. It is difficult to learn if you already know. 
we see a lot of leadership failure. Leaders being out of touch with reality. So in other words, it's a lack of listening. So listening, I believe, is not just an important one. It's the most important and most underrated leadership skill today. Obviously, being flexible, uh, being able to be agile, being able to listen, to listen and be able to be very inclusive in terms of how you, you lead people. I think those are some of the things that I've learned over the time. We are built to grow. It is our destiny to grow. A caterpillar is not supposed to die as a caterpillar. Its destiny is to grow wings and fly. We need to sort of focus more inwards and what is my responsibility in that? What can I contribute to a development that is more sustainable? But in order to be able to reach those sustainability goals, we need to also be able to take the right decisions to get there. And I think where we are today, perhaps, is we've hit a limit to purely technocratic external solutions to solve global problems. Mental health and well-being is supported by our inner capacities for spirituality and faith. Where education is fundamentally oriented towards meaning and purpose in a changing world, rather than uh, mere content delivery for students. Being human has many dimensions and that the dimension that we have been very good at exploring during the last couple of hundred years has been the external world. But that we have come to a point where the outside perspective has to be complemented by uh, an inside perspective. Teaching a course like Global Challenges at Stockholm School of Economics, I realize more and more that we cannot reach the sustainability goals if we do not work with our inner development. This does not apply only to universities. This applies to all sectors, all ages. What we really need is a deliberately developmental society. And depending on how severe you think the situation is, maybe we need a deliberately developmental world. And right now we're not even talking about, at scale, the inner dimensions and how we need to change. Because at the core, we are the problem. The way that we're acting in the world and the way that we are solving problems is the problem. I used to think the top environmental problems were biodiversity loss, ecosystem collapse, and climate change. I thought that with 30 years of good science, we could address those problems. But I was wrong. The top environmental problems are selfishness, greed, and apathy. And to deal with those, we need a spiritual and cultural transformation. Any sustainable development goal, that's essentially our generation's big ambitious vision for the world. In our experience, when we work with individuals, both within and outside Oxford, people are more likely to take action when these inspiring visions are brought down to their level. We bring now uh, the inner development goals with us as a great source of inspiration when we strengthen and revise our competence development roadmaps uh, and make sure that uh, the inner development goals are integrated into this. And as Einstein said, we are never going to be able to solve our problems with the same order of consciousness that created these problems. So as a species, we need more and more of us to grow and develop so that we have actually a bigger purchase on, a bigger perspective on, a bigger ability to solve the biggest, most dangerous uh, kinds of challenges that we face. To make the world work better requires highly specialized skills, very useful, but quite high level skills. And so what we want to say to people is, yes, it's great that you want to help make the world work better, but you have to get into training. Voila, what a great uh, video to uh, show a bit what are the inner development uh, goals are. And to uh, go further, what we can uh, do is uh, look at uh, together, what is this uh, framework of the inner development goals? And I'm going to share with you this, uh, this framework. First, it is uh, 23 uh, skills quality that are divided by uh, five categories. First being 
relationship to self, second thinking, cognitive skills, third relating, caring for other and the world, fourth collaborating, social skills, and fifth acting, enabling change. So, if we start with uh, the first one being in relationship uh, to self, as a meditation teacher, I uh, am very much uh, into uh, this because uh, meditation allow you to uh, do so and uh, have uh, presence not be in the past or the future, but on the right now. Self-awareness as well. Reflecting on uh, your thoughts, feeling, desire. One uh, skill that is uh, very important, the openness and learning mindset. And, and allowing to uh, have this uh, mindset of... Uh, learning when we learn we grow and growing is happiness so it is uh, very important to um, stay on this uh, learning uh, mode integrity and authenticity and inner compass i went down uh, from down to top rather than uh, top to bottom yeah uh, it is uh, a bit about uh, this uh, first category of uh, being. Second category, thinking, cognitive skills, critical thinking, complexity, awareness, understand the skills and working with complex and systematic, systemat systemic conditions and Causalities, perspective, skills, sense-making, long-term orientation, and visioning. Connective uh, skills are very crucial to uh, allow us to give us different perspective and evaluating information and uh, make that makes sense evaluating differently as well. Number third, relating, caring for others and the world. Appreciation, relating to others and the world with a basic sense of appreciation, gratitude and joy. And I, uh, I would add as, as well that uh, one of my uh, big insights for my Vipassana, it's uh, acceptance. So I think uh, appreciation and acceptance uh, go uh, hand on hand. Because when you accept others, you don't judge them and, uh, and you appreciate them. Connectedness, having a keen sense of being connected with uh, and or being part of a larger whole, such as a community, humanity, or global ecosystem. Humility, empathy, and compassion. And here, I uh, would really encourage you to have uh, self-compassion, self-compassion for yourself, because we often have uh, compassion for others, but myself, uh, in the past, I, I didn't have uh, compassion for myself. So I invite you to uh, have uh, some uh, self-compassion. Next one is uh, collaborating. To make progress, definitely we have to uh, collaborate. I love the Sustainable Development Goals number 17, where it's all about... Uh, cooperation, collaboration, all together to uh, work towards those sustainable development goals. And I uh, believe the inner development goals were born out of 
one uh, initiative out of the SDG 17. So collaborating communication skills, they are key. And the ability to really listen to others. A real leader first before to uh, lead must listen others. Co-creating uh, skills, skills and motivation to build, develop, and facilitate collaborative relationship with diverse stakeholders, characterized by psychological safety and genuine co-creation. The aim is really uh, the uh, co-creation. It's uh, one uh, key word in this uh, Inner Development Goals uh, Movement Community Initiative. Inclusive uh, mindset and intercultural competence, willingness and competence to embrace diversity and include people and collective with different views and background. Trust, ability to show trust and maintaining a uh, Trusting relationship, mobilizing, mob, mobilization skills, mobilization skills. They're sorry, <laughs> skills. Yeah, in inspiring and uh, mobilizing others to engage in uh, in shared purpose. A bit like uh, now cheering with uh, youth that is uh, listening to me. Uh, those uh, those skills. And the last one, uh, but uh, one crucial one, is uh, acting. Being able to uh, make the change, enabling the change. And to have the courage and optimism to uh, really uh, break the old patterns Genera generate original uh, ideas and uh, act with uh, persistence in a, an uncertain time, time. And it is a time uh, uncertain at the moment in the world. But no matter what, I encourage to, uh, to act. Act with uh, courage. Act with uh, creativity. Act with uh, optimism and act with perseverance. My first podcast subject was in perseverance because uh, I think uh, perseverance is a key that is in uh, life or in uh, business. It's uh, all about perseverance. There is so many people that uh, give up and... Uh, It's really important to not give up on our world. And I'm on the uh, optimist and uh, perseverant uh, person that uh, act for a better world. So um, that's a bit the uh, framework of the inner development goals. I hope uh, that it helps you to have uh, a bit uh, an overall view on uh, the inner development goals and uh, and particularly its uh, framework. There is uh, around this movement uh, of uh, inner development goals. There is uh, an entire community that is. Uh, Building bit by bit, um, it is a global community made of uh, practitioners, scientists, employees, consultants, coaches, and more that are working all together to put uh, this open source of inner development goal framework into action and collectively. So I invite you to uh, check out the inner, inner development goals. There is uh, many uh, hub 
that uh, have been uh, created around the world. I think uh, over uh, over 500 uh, hubs uh, already have been uh, created. It is uh, definitely a, a big movement going on in the world right now. And uh, what is a hub? A hub uh, uh, is a group of people and organize and or organization that supporting the inner development goals initiative. Mm -hmm. And uh, the aim is uh, bring people together around collective exploration and action, learn, innovate, prototype, practice and share application of tools, create local events, action days, and program to support further activities within the hub, align with uh, partner organization to help fund local or global development of uh, inner development goals and uh, sharing stories, recording of uh, lecture events uh, that are going on and presentation locally and in the uh, world. So, um, us, uh, Richard uh, and I, uh, we uh, were so uh, inspired uh, by uh, this uh, initiative of the Inner Development Goals. We uh, created as well uh, one uh, hub in uh, Geneva, the IDG Geneva Sustainability Impact Hub. Just created it uh, recently, uh, December 2023. Uh, so it is... Uh, uh, Right now, on his uh, early uh, childhood, uh, and uh, and still uh, championing our our plan and uh, action for 2024. But uh, if you would like to uh, know more about uh, this hub, uh, please feel free to contact me, and I will uh, share with you and uh, get you in uh, the communication uh, of our. IDG Geneva Sustainability Impact Hub. It is, uh, as the name uh, mentioned, it will be a, uh, it is a hub dedicated to sustainability and impact. Um, so, of course, uh, with uh, deep thinking on uh, IDG, deep cheering uh, and uh, deep learning for all that uh, will come and join us on our meetings and events on this uh, hub. As uh, you heard uh, in uh, the video, this uh, quote of uh, Albert Einstein, I love that quote, even uh, I was thinking about you that quote before I saw this uh, video. <laughs> we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. So we definitely got to upgrade, develop, evolve our mind, consciousness to regenerate and um, having a new mindset, a different perspective for a better world for all. With FreeEye, it's my uh, second business to assist uh, people and, uh, and businesses to apply the sustainable development goals in their life and, uh, and business. And it is really uh, the aim is... Uh, raising the ethical consciousness in life for everyone, but as well uh, for businesses, because uh, businesses uh, have a, a massive impact in the world for all, particularly the small and medium enterprise, SME, that represent uh, most of uh, businesses in the world. So I hope that I uh, gave you a good overall view on the inner development uh, goals. And uh, before I uh, let you go, 
I'm going to share with you uh, another thing, an, an action that you can do uh, and that will uh, help the inner development goals to, uh, to go further. There is a, a global survey that, uh, that started uh, end of last year uh, and uh, it's, still, uh, it's still going. So it is a simple global survey. The aim is to uh, definitely uh, perform those uh, and achieve those sustainable development goals. And it is uh, this survey made to know what is, uh, from your perspective, what are the skills, abilities, qualities do we need to develop to build a sustainable future for people and planet? It is a great question. It will only take a few minutes of your time, but uh, I'm sure it will uh, help a lot. I'm going to share this uh, in, uh, in the post, uh, in the podcast video for you to be able to, uh, to perform. So thank you again uh, for listening to me uh, today. I hope the, you understood me uh, with my Australian accent. And uh, I hope to see you next week for our next podcast. I wish you a wonderful week. 